right, welcome back to Unbox Where Us. I'm Mike. Today, it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to be testing this foldable cooler. A collapsible foldable cooler that says you don't need any ice. I saw this product on one of my friend's channels named Frickin' Reviews. If you haven't seen it, uh, I'll put a link to him right here. He is amazing. He's pretty amazing reviewer. He puts these products through the paces. I'm not going to lie. All right, so here we have the Chill Chest, the lightweight foldable iceless cooler, but you still gotta put some ice in it. So I'm gonna put some baggies filled with ice in here because this thing is not watertight unlike a regular cooler. So we'll pack this thing with all our snacks we got. It's very light and it has some instructions embossed in it here. And this is made out of a very dense, very hard, almost rubbery styrofoam looking material. Looks extremely durable. Here's some instructions. Sides fold up, flip out the inside, then close the lid. Sides flip up, these come out. And then the lid closes. And there's your chill chest, foldable cooler. Let's see how much stuff we can fit in here. All right, some ham, some cheese, some mayo, peanut butter and jelly, Baron's favorite apple juice. Damn, we're packing for a private island? Yeah, we're doing a test. You want these Oreos? No, I'm gonna die. Oh, well I'm taking it for me. Running out of room, real quick. Oh Lord. <laughs> She's over there laughing so hard. You're so stupid. Okay, I think this thing is full. What about all the water? <laughs> oh, we have no water in here! We forgot to put water in here. The paper towels can come out. Okay, waters. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's got little handles on the side right here. I mean, like little rock handles. <laughs> yeah, they're like. <laughs> They're like a, you gotta have rock climber strength to get your little, your little tips of your fingers in there. Baron is ready to go to the beach. <laughs> All right, so right now it's 12.30, just packed the chest. We're going out to the beach. We'll see how long this stuff stays cool. On a hot, it's not summer, is it? On a hot day in Florida, it's about 85 degrees today. So everything's starting to cool down inside the chill chest there, but it's been about an hour and a half and it's still just a smidge over 70 degrees in there. It's definitely not that cold. Um, unfortunately, every single thing that I bought was room temperature. I, so I put a lot of water bottles in there that are room temperature, a lot of snacks, a lot of foods, nothing that was already cold, which is what I think the chill chest is actually designed for, to keep things cold that are already cold and to keep things warm that are already warm. And the temperature is dropping. So right now it's getting to an acceptable temperature to keep food, keep things cold, keep snacks cold, and it fits right in my buggy. So, so far, the chill chest is a success. All right, so it's two o'clock. It's been about an hour and a half since we packed the chill chest and we've been out here at the beach. It's about 90 degrees out here, so it's pretty warm. And you can see it has cooled down a little bit. It looks like it's about uh, 73 degrees, I'd say. Um, and our bags of ice are holding strong, so you have almost no melted water in there. I don't know if you can see that. So the ice, is, ice bags are doing good. 
Um, things are starting to cool down in here, but it's a slow process. All right, so it's been about two and a half hours since I've packed this chill chest. And um, let's just check on it, see what the temperature is, see if it's cooled down a little bit. All right, looks like we're at about 70 degrees, uh, maybe 71, 72 degrees. That's not bad. Everything is, is cooling down. Everything feels a little cooler. Half-eaten sandwiches. Um, these bags of ice, there's a little bit of water in there. That's all the ice melt we've had so far. Just a, <clears throat> barely any ice melting. Just look at this big bag. Barely. So we still got plenty of ice. So, so far the chill chest is keeping everything cold. It's been hours since we've had this packed, about two and a half hours. Um, it's getting a little cold out here at the beach. The temperatures dropped to like 75 and it's windy and we're wet. So we're gonna head back to the house and then I'll do a final review of this product here. But so far, it's working really well. As long as you don't have to carry it with these little cheesy handles. Also, one more complaint is that this doesn't seem to stay down. There's no way to latch the top down. You can actually see the food down in that gap there. See that? So there's, there's no real good seal here in the middle with the chill chest. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that either. So it's 3.51, so it's been almost three and a half hours since we packed this chill chest. Hold on. 3.51. It's like four. Yeah, three and a half hours. This stuff feels cold in there. Uh-oh, my ice bags have been leaking, but there's still plenty of ice in there, but these are leaking. See that? Lots of ice left. Can you see that? And it's reading about 70 degrees uh, on the gauge. 70 degrees. I'm not too impressed. Um, this thing leaked on me on the way in because those ice bags leaked. Um, it doesn't have a good seal on the bottom. The stuff feels lukewarm. I don't know about this. There you go, the chill chest. So my opinion is that uh, I prefer a regular cooler because I can put ice in there. I can have drinks sitting right in the ice. Using these homemade ice bags or ice packs, just don't give that direct chill to your food. Um, this thing struggled to keep the food semi-cold and a regular cooler you can fill the bottom with ice and put all your stuff in there for the portability factor, um, great. But the only problem is, is whenever you're actually moving this thing around and you need it to be portable, it's like the size of a regular cooler anyways. And if you don't have a place at your house to store a regular cooler, you probably need a bigger house. I'm gonna chalk this one up to gimmicky and say, I don't think it's the best cooler, um, it did do an okay job, but not impressed. I'd rather have a regular Igloo cooler from Walmart. But if you'd like to buy one, if you think you have a need for this particular cooler, I'll put a link to it below and you can buy one if you want. I'm not forcing you. I'm not trying to make you buy one. But if you want one, just click below and get yourself one. It's not bad. It's just not the best. All right, thanks for tuning in this episode of Unbox Warehouse where we went outside the box, outside the studio. I hope you liked it. I hope you had fun. If you want to see more, watch one of these videos right here. Also, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell icon down there so you can see what we open next, right here on Unbox Warehouse.